Welcome, welcome back to Star Citizen. I am Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy. I've got another ship rundown for you. This is going to be part one of the series. Part two is not going to be uh, very impressive. But uh, let's take a look at these two ships here. You probably don't see too many of these in the verse right now. Uh, these are Argos. And I'll show you the two different types. As you can tell from here, the, the first one's a little different than the second one. So let's go down and take a closer look. Today we're in the Revel and York hangar, once again. Take the little elevator down. Too bad there's no elevator music. As you notice, these two ships are quite small. And I'll actually drive the Grey Cat over there so you can see how small they really are. If it'll let me drive my gray cat. No, well, it doesn't want me to drive it. Okay, no matter. Okay, so this first one, this first Argo is the MPUV-1P personnel version. So this Argo is designed to carry people from planet side or other ships and transfer them around. As you can see, it's a tight fit in here, but it does seat four on each side. So we're a total of eight. It'll transfer, transfer eight PCs. And, and you know, you can see uh, from one view angle here. Let me get back in here. It's quite cramped. You can't be very tall to fit in the back of this thing. I, I do think that some things are going to change. I don't think my character's actually... Well, he is seated pretty well. That's interesting. I'm sure that that's going to be adjusted in the future. But this is the inside of the personnel carrier. Right now, the ships that get these, where well, you could buy it separately when they had the sell for it, but you also get one for free when you have an Idris. So you'll get the transport version with an Idris. And let's take a look at what it looks like in the cockpit here. It's quite cramped, but you can get quite a decent view here. All your switches and stuff are up here, your MFDs. Those are multifunctional displays for anybody that didn't know the lingo. So that is the personnel carrier. Get you to and fro, carry uh, up to eight personnel in it. The other Argo over here is the MPUV-1C Cargo Edition. I don't know if it'll let me... There we go. So as you can see, it's got room for cargo back here. It even has a jump seat. That's pretty cool. I, uh, I didn't remember seeing that one before. But uh, there it is, the jump seat. It'll actually store quite a bit of cargo. Now this ship is designed to carry cargo from bigger ships such as the uh, whole E or whole D or even the Orion um, that, that can't go down to planet side so it'll carry cargo for those ships to the planet side for manufacturing processing those sort of things and you see it actually opens on either end on either side as well so that's pretty neat you can get into it from several different angles I guess you know if you have cargo already in here you need a way to get it back here right so that's the way that's the reason why it opens up like that and this Argo looks the same from the inside here we'll show you one more time here this particular Argo you get in the Javelin for free so both the Idris and the Javelin should have 
places for these ships to berth already. So it's kind of a neat little utility ship here. Again, you won't see too many of these uh, flying around the verse because they don't have any weapons. <coughs> and right now, most everything is combat oriented. The second reason why you won't find too many of these in the verse is because they don't have a quantum drive. So much like some of the snubs, which we will cover eventually here as well, uh, there's no way to travel at quantum speed. So you're pretty much stuck to slower speeds and staying around space station. Uh, you could possibly fly this into another ship, but I don't think it's going to fit in any of the ships that are currently flyable. So these are the MPU Vs. The one P over there, the one C here, personnel, cargo. Both of them are Argo, which is lettered along the side here, as you can see. If you like this video, please hit the, the thumbs up and subscribe. Also, you can share this video with your friends. Hopefully they'll like it as well. I appreciate the time you spend with me here today in part one and we'll go to part two and we can take a look at the how these things fly again i'm mud dog with the texas space navy and i'll see you in the verse